Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. All docs go to heaven, and in some cases, they go to the cloud to be printed. I love Google Docs. You can see I have it pulled up here on my iPad, and it works quite well. In fact, now they've enabled editing on devices like the iPad or the iPhone. And now, in conjunction with Google Cloud Print, which I have running here on a dev build of the Google Chrome browser, which happens to be my default browser, specifically on Windows, now you can enable the Google Proud Print cloud print feature that is a mouthful let me just show you here in the settings tab specifically under the hood right there if you scroll all the way down again you will see the option to turn it on you may have to actually enable the flag for it here's an extension that I use if I can tap that correctly called Chrome access gives me easy access to the flags option or about colon flags and you can enable different features. It may actually have been something that I enabled here. Once you have that enabled, you will be able to register your printers on your home network or whatever network you have with the Google Cloud Print Beta service. It is completely free and I gotta tell you, in running it for the first time today, I was extremely impressed. So let me go ahead and uh, pull up a doc here. Let's see what do I have. Oh, the 50 screencast tips. And this was something that was co-authored uh, with Matthew Sabia. He actually wrote a majority of it. Available right now on gnometomes.com, G-N-O-M-E-T-O-M-E-S. It's an ebook. You can get it right now. So let's see here. I, I selected the drop-down menu. Now I'm going to select print. <clears throat> Give it a couple seconds here, and there are some of the printers that I have registered. Not all the printers, but these are the ones that are specifically online. I'm going to print to uh, this particular printer, which I've reviewed before. And now I've selected it. I'm going to hit print. Creating a new print job. That's what it says there if it's not focused. So theoretically, in a couple seconds time, with that print job being created, it will show up in the active print jobs and then in the completed print jobs. Theoretically. Give it a couple seconds. There we go. There's the printer going on. Ah, preparation occurring. Good to know. So I'll give this a few seconds time. Could not believe how easy this was. Believe it or not, it is that simple. So let's go ahead and refresh here. Let's see if that uh, changes anything. Yep, there we go. The active print jobs, the screen task tips, saying it's in progress. I actually had to refresh the page. And now it is printing, assuming that I have ink, <clears throat> which I may not have. Either way, that's how it works, and I thought it would be uh, fun to uh, record this video, if only to say that you can do this now. You do need a Windows PC, one of the later builds of uh, Google Chrome, which is now, as I said before, my default web browser. Uh, I use it on Mac OS X and uh, Windows as well. I keep everything synchronized. Google makes it really, really, really easy, and i got to tell you, this Google Cloud Print is awesome. Best implementation of network printing I have ever seen in my entire life. Oh, there we go. I guess I do have a little bit of ink. Yay! Okay, here's a bonus. Can anybody name that gadget? I reviewed it a long time ago. Can anybody name that gadget? Well, you probably can because it's got the name right on the front of it. <clears throat> Actually, I think I've reviewed just about everything I have on this desk. Okay, that's all I have to say. <laughs> you can Google me! Just, uh... Open up a Google Chrome tab here and uh, go to Google and type in C-H-R-I-S. Now, autocomplete uh, may not list me, but uh, if you, um, actually, let me click away or tap away. I am the first Chris on Google as of right now. Of course, it's been that way for, well, well several years, as a matter of fact. Hopefully, that's not going to disappear anytime soon, nor will I. Chris.Perillo.com, at Chris Perillo on Twitter. Of course, you can find us, Facebook.com slash Chris Perillo. LockerGnome.com is a greater part of our community, LockerGnome.net, where you can ask questions, get answers. I already mentioned GnomeTomes.com, where you can get your own screencast tips ebook copy, because I'm not just going to give those away, because, you know, you got to pay the co-author, Matthew Sabia, another great member of our community. And then, of course, we also have a chat room. Uh, we are geeking out. You can pull up the live video feed 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, whether you happen to be on a desktop, and that's live.perillo.com, or you happen to be on something like an iPhone or an iPad, in which case you can use this. And this is specifically found at pocket.perillo.com. We'll see you later.